Ten people died in the Bronx last night due to a fire that killed ten people in the Bronx last night during a fire. Hey guys, Mr. T. Laxify back, and in today's video, I'm coming at you guys with another top five zombies video. And in today's video, this is going to be the top five bullshit theories in Call of Duty World at War Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 Zombies. So let's get straight down into it. This is some of the stupidest stuff I have ever heard on Call of Duty Zombies. But anyways, guys, let's get straight down to our number five spot. And in today's video, this is going to be the zombie ranking system. Now, guys, this system... My goodness, when Black Ops 2 first came out and they decided to give us this big, awesome ranking system, they really made it hard for us to figure out and it was incredibly difficult figuring out what was wrong with this, why people were not ranking up and what the tally marks were, how people got to the shotguns rank. There's just so much speculation and even once Origins came out and the whole series was done with the Black Ops 2 game, they still didn't really release it properly. So guys, it was just horrible. We couldn't even figure it out. It's just bad guys and that's all I have to say about that. Just the zombie ranking system was a whole bullshit theory in itself until people finally figured it out that's based off of high rounds, not even kills or anything. But anyways guys, let's get down to our number 4 spot and in today's video, this is going to be the Perma Perks and the PhD Flopper Troll. Now the day when Die Rise came out, I was so excited guys, but when we finally found PhD Flopper on the map and we realized we couldn't get it, oh that made me mad, but anyways, with PhD Flopper, Treyarch has been trolling with us with that perk basically since Die Rise, even in Mob of the Dead, Buried as well, and just finally they decided to release it in Origins, and it was just, oh, finally, but we didn't get an actual perk machine, we only got it in the Wonder Fist, so hopefully they don't do that shit again with Black Ops 3, and Perma Perks, my goodness, there were so many, Treyarch was just giving us all these Perma Perks, we had no idea what they did, and it was just, what? Like the perma perks for example like the PhD flopper one and buried leading up to origins again And it was just so much effort so much time wasted on this stuff I even had to make a series about the top five or just searching for perma perks. It was horrible guys Perma perks big thing. I hope they don't add it back in black ops 3. They were nice But I feel that they made the game too OP guys like it was too easy to get through the rounds and it just wasn't good enough. But anyways, guys, let's head down to our number three spot. And in today's video, this is going to be the Nuketown Fallout Shelter. My goodness. Holy yo, this shelter, man. Whenever people talk to me about it, they believe that Marlton was hiding in it. That there's just all this way that he got from transit or from Nuketown to transit. All this bullshit about this one little shelter and people saying that you can open the door and everything like that no guys no you can't it was just so dumb honestly one of the stupidest theories ever that you can open it you can open it if all the uh, heads of the mannequins are knocked off there's a bunch of really dumb stuff and honestly guys these bullshit theories make you want to play the game more to figure out if you can actually really do it so you know what big props to Treyarch for actually making these dumb theories and I know I've heard a lot of these theories uh, with Black Ops 2 as well and just it just boggles my mind that people actually believe this stuff they're so gullible that they'll go for anything to actually see if this stuff is real but anyways guys let's head down to our number two spot and in today's video this is going to be the transit easter egg and the nav cards let's start it off with the worst map of all the easter egg about how people thought that it wasn't finished so once you finished it you got the achievement right but people said there must be more to this whole thing that they call the easter egg and there were some little signs where if you point a gun at this door a huge light beam would shine on it this thing got patched it was apparently a glitched uh, a glitch it was a glitch and um a lot of just a bunch of stupid stuff about it like you could get the jet gun and go up to this clock in the diner and it would like shake or vibrate it just 
Really dumb. Like, again, people are too gullible for this stuff. And this bullshit, guys. It's just absolute utter bullshit. Hopefully, this isn't as bad in the next Call of Duty. Because that would really, really suck. And next, and on to the next part of the number two spot. This is going to be the nav cards, guys. Oh, my goodness. This nav card bullshit was just really getting on to me. Because, honestly, I don't know what the huge problem was about it. Everyone was trying to figure it out. And what the big deal about it it was i don't know the nav cards was just used for this really dumb easter egg and buried that's personally my opinion but anyways guys let's head down to our number one bullshit theory in the call of duty zombie saga and this is the second bus route and the second plane route in call of duty mob of the dead and transit my goodness, this shit pissed me off all the way back to town. But anyways, guys, with the bus route, the second bus route is transit. Okay, let's get that straight right now. The original bus route was from transit to Nuketown. And that's how people suppose or theorize that Marlton got from Nuketown to transit. That is the whole story. That is it. There's no second secret bus route. Everything that you hear on any other video is absolute garbage bullshit. Stop it with this second bus route and then and then mob of the dead came along right and then we everyone speculated that there was a second plane route that actually went past the golden gate bridge there's nothing like that guys this is zombies we don't just just stop just stop the first stop is obviously obviously just the golden gate bridge there's nothing else after that there's no way people would have been able to figure this out long ago if there actually was a second plane route guys and oh my god this stupid it's just you don't fall for this guys if you ever see a video like this second bus route second plane route second route out my ass just don't believe it that's all i have for you guys today this video has been great i hope you guys enjoyed if you want to leave a like let's see if we can hit 2500 likes for the next top five secrets and it will be shino numa coming up coming up next thank you guys so much for watching you are the best thank you again so much for